Okay, so this is a very common problem. Uh, this is a basic stoichiometry problem. I have a, gal uh, a given chemical equation that's balanced, and it just asks how many grams of this product here, Al2O3, can I make starting with 64.8 grams of this substance here. And I'm going to assume I have an excess amount of oxygen because I have plenty of oxygen to react. I don't want to worry about um, the amount of oxygen taking into account uh, the final result. And so the strategy for doing a problem like this, um, if you will notice, this is grams of aluminum and I want this substance here. Now these two substances um, are related in some way, but I can't convert grams of aluminum to grams of aluminum oxide in just one step. I have to do a couple steps to do this. And so the strategy is if I have grams of aluminum, what I can do with grams of aluminum is convert to moles. Okay. To do that step, we use molar mass from the periodic table. Once I have moles of aluminum, I now can remember that moles of aluminum and moles of aluminum oxide, these two things right here, they are related by the mole ratio from the balanced chemical equation. So I can convert moles of aluminum two moles of aluminum oxide using the mole ratio in the balanced equation. And then once I have moles of aluminum oxide, you can convert moles back to grams using periodic table and molar mass. The way I have it set up, the way we have it set up normally in our classes is we'll do one step, do another step, and then we can do the final step in three separate chunks. Uh, you're, you're welcome to do that. However, today I'm going to show you um, how to combine all these steps together so that you can save some time in writing out your calculations, and then it makes the, um, the work just a little cleaner to, to read. So I'm going to start with grams of aluminum, 64.8 grams of aluminum. First up is molar mass. And so from the periodic table, you know that one mole of aluminum is 26.98 grams, and that just comes straight from the periodic table. I could put an equal sign here to get moles of aluminum. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and start putting these other steps all combined together. So the next step would be the mole ratio. And from the, periodic, from the balanced equation, excuse me, I can see that for every four moles of aluminum, you're going to have two moles of aluminum oxide. So from four moles of aluminum, you can make two moles of aluminum oxide. So this is the mole ratio. Once I'm at the, mole, the moles of aluminum oxide, I can then go back to grams and figure out how many grams of aluminum oxide I can make. So you can take two aluminums, three oxygens from the periodic table, add them up, you'll find that one mole of aluminum oxide is 101.96 grams. Once again, this just comes straight from the periodic table. Two times the molar mass of aluminum and three times the molar mass of oxygen, 16. And this is 26.98. Add all that up. And now I can put an equal sign so that you can see grams of aluminum can cancel. Moles of aluminum can cancel. Moles of aluminum oxide can cancel. And now your, your final step is grams of aluminum oxide.
Now if you do all that math, you should get 489.8 grams of aluminum oxide. Or if we're accounting for significant figures, since 64.8 was my original number in the problem, it only has three significant figures, you can round this to 400. We'll put a decimal point there to signify that that is our third significant figure.